Welcome back to my channel. My name's Sunny. If you're new, I'm a 20 year old college student from Australia and I post lifestyle, fitness, and any kind of video that I want to. So if you wanted to check those out or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use iOS 14 and how to create an aesthetic home page without the shortcut redirect. Now, what I mean by this is when you create these shortcuts or aesthetically pleasing icons, they have to take you first through the shortcut app and then to the app that you want. So with this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can open the app directly without it having to go through the shortcut app first. So let's just get straight into it. I'm gonna put my screen here so you can see what I'm doing. And obviously the first step is to download iOS 14. If you don't know how to do that, you just go into settings, then general and click software update. And then there should be a button there so you can download and install it. Now, once you've installed iOS 14 on your phone, your apps are going to be all over the place. So iOS 14 actually has this feature where you can hide apps in your app library. So you can just have the apps that you use the most on your home screen, which is really handy. So how to do this is hold your finger down on your home screen and wait for the apps to do its jiggly thing. And then you wanna click the circles down at the bottom and it'll show you all these pages of your apps. So you can untick and tick the pages that you want to show up. And all the other apps are going to be in your app library. So they're still on your phone, but they're hidden. And how to access this is you just type in whatever app you want in the search bar. So how to move an app into your app library. So on this page, I just have the Instagram app. What you wanna do is click on the minus button, move to app library. So you wanna click that. So my home screen is now blank and now we can go ahead and customize all the apps that we want on here. So how to do this is you first have to download the shortcuts app. So if you just go into the app store, type in shortcuts and download, it should be there. Open up the shortcuts app. Once it's downloaded, click the plus button on the top right corner and then click add action. Here you type in open because you want the shortcut so that you can open an app. And then you scroll down to the option where it says open app right at the bottom. Then you click choose and you can choose whatever app that you want. For this instance, I'm gonna choose Instagram. Then click next in the top right corner and you wanna name this shortcut. So just for simplicity, I'm just naming it Instagram and then click done. From here, you wanna click the three dots on the top right corner of the Instagram big icon thing that they have. And then you want to click the three dots underneath done in the top right hand corner and you want to add to home screen. Here is where you can customize your app icon. So how to do this, click on the icon next to Instagram and then go choose photo. Now these are all photos that I have saved from Pinterest or just Googling aesthetic photos or aesthetic icons. If you go on Pinterest and there are photos that you like, just a screenshot and save them to your camera roll. Some things to Google or type in on Pinterest is aesthetic photos, aesthetic backgrounds, neutrals, blues, yellows, whatever kind of theme that you're going for. And also if you type in Instagram story icons. So from here, what you wanna do is just select a photo, then crop it to your liking and then click choose and then click add in the top right hand corner and make sure to click done and done again. And now if you go to your home screen, your app will be there with the photo that you chose. I'm just gonna go through it once again, really quickly on my screen in case you missed anything. So you can just see it sped up here. Okay, so here's where I show you how to skip the shortcut redirect. So if you click on the Instagram icon that we just created, it goes to the shortcut app first, and then it goes to your Instagram app. With this method that I'm about to show you, if you click on the Instagram icon that I made, then it takes you directly to the Instagram app. So someone on Reddit actually posted this, so all credit goes to him. I think it's a fabulous idea. So it's called Icon Thema. If you put into Google Icon Thema and click the first result, and then if you 
click get shortcut it'll come up with this little objection and just press OK. How to get around this is to open your settings app, type in shortcuts and make sure to select the shortcuts app instead of the first result, which is what I did when I first did this. Scroll down to the shortcuts app and then allow untrusted shortcuts and go allow put in your passcode now go back to safari and click get shortcut scroll all the way down to the bottom and click add untrusted shortcut click continue done now when you open your shortcuts app it'll have the icon thema there when you click on icon thema it'll give you all these options and you're only really going to use the first two so it really depends on what app you're trying to customize if it's something like instagram facebook something that doesn't come directly with your phone you want to search it in the app store so i'll just give you an example now i'm going to search for instagram so just type in instagram click done and then it'll come up with the option just click instagram again click ok then here you want to choose from photos so you can customize it and ok and it'll come up with your camera roll again and just pick whatever photo you want. This takes a little time, so just have some patience and don't really click anything for a little bit. Click done, okay, done again. And then it'll take you to Safari and you just wanna click allow and it will say profile downloaded. Now what you wanna do from here is close. You wanna go into settings and there'll be an option that says profile downloaded, as you can see, then you just wanna click that and click install in the right hand corner, enter your passcode and install again and click done. Okay, so now let's compare the shortcut that we made for Instagram the first time and this shortcut that we just made. So if we click on the shortcut that we made before, it takes you to the shortcut app first and then it opens Instagram. Whereas what we've just made here, it opens the Instagram app directly. So that's pretty much how you get around the shortcut redirect. So if you just follow those steps again with all your apps, I know it's a bit tedious, but if you do it for the apps that you most commonly use, I do think that it's worth it because it can get kind of annoying going to the shortcut app first and then opening your app. So as this is a tutorial video, I wanna show you how to customize your widgets and your home screen and how to make it aesthetic. So this is the next part of the video. You wanna download the Widgetsmith app from the app store. Once it's downloaded, you open the app and it depends what type of widget you want. I'm gonna show you the small widget first. Just click add small widget, click the small hashtag one, click default widget. And then there are so many options to customize this. You can scroll through all these options. If you want the date, time, month, whatever, there's battery icons and calendars and reminders. Just have a scroll through this. There's so many options. You can change the font, the color. Now how to actually customize this so that you can use a photo from your camera roll or change the icon is you go into the style section, which is the first section and you scroll down to where it says custom and then you click on the photo option here you click on selected photo down the bottom even though there's no option there and it'll come up with this option to choose a photo and then you just click whatever photo that you want then just click the back button in the top left corner where it says small hashtag one it might be a different number for you and then press save in the top right hand corner so this is the first widget that we've made and now if we want to make another one you just go add small widget again and then press small hashtag 2 default widget and then customize it to your liking and then press the back button in the top left corner where it says small hashtag 2 so now that we have two small widgets we want to add these to our home screen and how we do that is go to your home screen first hold your finger down on the home screen so that all the apps jiggle again and press the add button on the top left corner here it'll give you all the options to add widgets so if we want to add the widgets that we've just made if you scroll down there'll be an option on the left if you see widget smith then click that and just go add widget so you just want to click done and now you might be wondering where is the widget that we made so how to customize this 
is you hold down the small icon so it comes up with these options and you click edit widget then if you click on the small hashtag one and you click whatever widget that we just made so the small hashtag one was the first one that we made small hashtag two was the second one that we made and if you just click whichever one that you want then it'll come up with that widget another way to add the widget is if you just scroll all the way down to the bottom there is an option where it says widget smith if you click that then that's also how you can add a widget i'm just going to quickly take you through how to add a medium or a large widget so if you go into the widget smith app again and add medium widget click on it click on default widget customize it to your liking here you can add a photo once again so you're customizing it add a photo it's exactly the same steps as i showed you for the small widget click save then make the apps jiggle again then if you click the widget smith icon you just have to swipe so that you get the medium option and if you click medium it'll come up with the medium instead of the small and you just follow exactly the same steps to get the widget onto the home screen. Now that you have your customized apps and your widgets, you can just rearrange them and make them all aesthetically pleasing. I'll include some examples that I found on Pinterest that I think are pretty snazzy and cool. But yeah, that's basically how you use iOS 14 and how to skip the shortcut redirect. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you wanna see more iOS 14 related videos, I'm planning to do some such as like hidden features or tips and tricks for beginners. So if you wanna hang around and check them out, then definitely subscribe. And if you have any comments, then leave them in the comment section below. And I really hope that this was useful. I guess I'll see you in my next video.